今日も私Joint bid. It was part of the the, the 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 package which we had agreed with the people when we were giving being given the hosting rights for the Confederation of African Football that we shall have African Championship here in New Kampala, Nairobi, and Dar es Salaam. And as far as we in Uganda are concerned, the two pitches that's Nachivugo and Nambole are going to be inspected. Then now Nambole and Nachivugo again are part of our bigger plans for the AFCON 2027, which you can now see that uh, we have an international stadium ready. Thank you.
Introduce to you to the uh, the program. Uh, we are going to yes, we are going to all rise. So even in talking to you, <laughs> he has done most of the talking. I don't have to do that much talking myself. But I thank him, and he's a blessing. And I thank all of you, like the Commissioner for, for Sports said. Today, standing here and looking at uh, Mandela Stadium, really, is a blessing because you all will remember when we were here in June last year, there were so many things yet undone. There were many uh, things sharp and standing up and, and we didn't know how they were going to all be concluded and, and make the stadium look normal again. But today, standing here and looking at all these, our national colors and looking at this stadium, really, we are very proud of our Defense Engineering Brigade. We are very, very proud with the team that we work with and uh, we have no, I have no doubt in my mind that the works that are not yet done will be done and concluded and my prayer I believe will be answered because God works with us and uh, he covers us as we work. I believe that he will make sure that this work will be concluded in time. So it is a real pleasure and honor for me to be here on behalf of our sector, the Ministry of Education and Sports, but also on behalf of the government of Uganda to see what the project has become and to show the pride to you all who have been doing the work. And I want especially the Ministry of Defense and Works, of course, but the, 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 brigade, the engineering brigade to really know that we are very proud to see that our young people are standing up for Uganda. And as I was saying in next uh, rule, it is time. It is time that we build Uganda and stand for Uganda and lift up this country because we can no longer wait. We have waited long enough. I was saying that Africa in general has waited too long 
to build this continent that God blessed us with, that is so blessed with so much resources, and yet it has been the one so down that we are forever looking for others to lift us up. Now I think it is time. We have no excuse whatsoever why we can't build this country and give it the pride it deserves and give all the honor to God. So mine today is really to thank those who are doing us this pleasure and pride. So uh, yes, indeed, when we were here last time, it was June last year, and we had agreed that we will be here again on the 30th of November. But uh, I was saying in my very brief remarks that we say in our languages here, when things are not concluded as, as promised or as planned, we say Vivao. <laughs> Vivao, <laughs> so it didn't happen in November, but really we will not say Vivao again. We want Peter to come back and, and, and confirm that the time we decided this, this stadium is going to be concluded, and as he said, I honestly also believed that the 17 billion had come through the supplementary. I was surprised to hear our PS say that the money has not got here yet. So I will not let the Minister of Finance sleep again until they have given us our money really because we requested for it in the supplementary. We got some of that money at that time, I don't know why we didn't get the 17 billion, but we are not going to let them sleep. The minister, my colleague, Honorable Kasaija, and the PSST, they will know that we are not doing this for ourselves. We are doing this for Uganda, and they must do their part also, because without that money, you can see how much uh, we have delayed so much that could have been finished. So we will not give them peace until they give us that money. That the peace also will not wait for the money to arrive. We just have to follow it up until we get it from them. And uh, now the maintenance team uh, you heard what Peter said. Since you, she, he said we, we have the, the money, now the recruit should be done, really, because the, we, we, we were told that they require time to work with this team here now, and uh, our expert who, who's here working with the, the brigade, the, the engineering brigade, to work with them for a period of time so that they know what to do. When these people leave, we don't want to come here and find the work like it was before. That's why it is so important that we get this maintenance team here urgently so that they begin to work with this team while they are still here and learn everything they have to learn so that they can do excellent work when they are the ones in charge. Um, so, we, I can only now applaud the contribution of everybody who, who's been involved in this work, beginning with the, brigade, with the engineering brigade and the whole ministry of defense, with the minister representing the ministry, and the PS and the whole team from the Ministry of Defense, from the Ministry of Works, and our own team from the Ministry of Education, led by the PS and the technical team. And uh, I must also congratulate 
again, you for what you have done, the, the, the defense team. And we must thank the president, like Peter said, because without him, it would have been difficult even to get the funding that we have already got. So we must thank him for what he has done so far, working with us on this journey. And uh, with him, I, I, I believe we will get the balance that we, we must all work hard to, to get. Uh, finally, let me again thank my son, Peter Ogwang, for the work he does every day for his education and the excellent work he demands of all those we work with and all of you here present. I thank you. I pray that God will bless Uganda, bless all of us to see this work really well finished and the sports take place here in a place that gives all of us pride. I trust that all those other things will be concluded right on time. Thank you so much and God bless you all. There are a few delays which of course are ours, not within our sector, but these are the delays which are in line with the releases of money. Like you must have heard from the contractor, the issue here is that the contractor is on site. What we needed was a balance of the 17.7 .7 billion. I want to confirm my senior minister, the first lady, met with the minister of finance and the permanent secretary, secretary treasury and they had agreed to give us a supplementary. I want to confirm cabinet approved the supplementary and parliament too did approve, pass that supplementary, but the challenge has been on the releases. So as of now, if had we got that money, we would have officially completed our phase one of the renovation works. But like you have heard, I have been here all pushing to make sure that whatever works which are not completed are completed in time. Now what we are only remaining is a, like I stated, we are at 86% of the physical of the of the of the works. And now what is left is about to 14%. What is embedded on 14% is on the running track, like you've seen there. That place has been prepared. The tatam which is used for running is out there. You must have seen what is has been whatever out there. So the other things, even the equipment for the maintenance and everything is here. For the pitch, you can see, here we are now ready to kick the ball. Because, and this is like, like I can proudly say that there is no pitch in the ESC as of now, which is better than this pitch. I want to confirm to Ugandans that we are working hard to make sure that this pitch is complete by next month, if all other factors go on as expected. If we all we receive that money, in time. They have finished already measuring where they are going to put floodlights and we expect the, the company which is going to supply floodlights to fly in here by next week and those also will be installed. We expect that other side, that's the VIP area. The seats for the VIP areas have also arrived. We expect them to be fitted in there and then you see now the other parts which are now final installations and specifically the, the CCTV cameras, the electronic system, those are the minor small things which are within the 14% of the works. But in a big sense, I want to say the bigger part of the works has been done in this stadium. I thank you. It has been a big cost on the side of government for us to host our games, our would-be home games away. And that also renders our chances of qualifying for some of the international competitions to be on the lower side. For instance, we failed to, call, to qualify for AFCON because you remember we had almost about three games which were meant to play at home, played away. Of the three games, I think we won two. Had we played most of those games here, because the fans have a boost to the, to the, the, the team, the team which is at home here playing games, 
And for that, that con spending money is one we want to say that the earlier we complete the stadium, the better for us to have our good chances of qualifying. Like you, like I said earlier on that, our next games here is on around 3rd June, which is meant to be against Boswana. Then the second game also will be within here, which is meant to be again against Algeria. And then the other games will be away. So we want to make sure that by the time the CAF inspectors come next, next, next week, we will be able to have the facilities, what is core red. I also want to report that we are going to have the CAF inspectors come here on 25th. They are coming to inspect this facility for number one, Chan. The country may not be aware that as a government, we did put up a joint bid. It was part of the, 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 the package which we had agreed with the people when we were giving, being given the hosting rights for the Confederation of African Football, that we shall have African Championship here in Kampala, Nairobi, and Dar es Salaam. And as far as we in Uganda are concerned, the two pitches, that's Nachivugo.